What's up troops, it's me the Tactical Brit and I'm back again with another squad guide and today we're looking at the Grenadier Roll. The Grenadier Roll is one that's relatively important and I'm going to showcase exactly why that is. So the Grenadier comes with a basic rifle uh, and the only thing that's significantly different other than having you know the normal field bandages and the new normal shovel is the grenade launcher. The grenade launcher comes with six grenade rounds and some also uh, some smoke rounds, some white smoke, some blue smoke and some red smoke and I'll give you a rough idea of how this will work. Pretty simple. Uh, it's, it's a reload mechanism. You have to reload shot by shot. And just like that, you can nail some pretty good targets in the distance. Um, this thing has a pretty good explosive radius, and it's primarily for dispersion. The grenade launcher can be hugely effective at taking out multiple enemies within sort of 10 meters of each other. Uh, especially if you manage to land one sort of inside a building like that, you'll you'll take out a shit ton of enemies. The blast radius will destroy a lot of people. Uh, the Grenadier can also be semi-effective against certain kinds of vehicles. Um, some of them are quite weakly armored. They're not giant ass trucks like you're seeing directly in front of me here. They're more like uh, technicals like this one. And uh, it can do a bit of damage to these things. It can cause uh, enemies who are currently in the vehicle to be killed. Uh, and also entirely destroy the vehicle itself. Provided you get the right kind of fire. So you can either damage the enemies that are on the inside. Sometimes you'll have enemies sort of on turrets or on the back of trucks. And uh, it's, it's a relatively effective weapon. It's a dispersion weapon. It's the kind of weapon that could take out multiple people. And the next function of this thing is the smoke. Now we have white smoke. We've got blue smoke. And we've got red smoke. And the best thing to do in a combat situation as a grenadier. Is to label your targets with red and blue smoke. I fired out a blue smoke there, it's landed on top of the building or just behind it. I fired out a blue smoke here, give or take, and just like that my entire team has a rough approximation that there could be two e lots of enemies in these buildings. I could call out on squad comms, hey guys, we got some enemies, blue smoke, marked. Uh, or guys, enemies, red smoke, marked. Now trying to get the red smoke in and around the area is a good idea. If you actually hit the area itself too specifically, uh, you're going to stop people from actually seeing where they're supposed to be shooting, which is obviously something we don't want to do. It also comes with white smoke as well, which is sort of the standard. Uh, white smoke you'll find is a bit more of a dispersion than these ones. These ones sort of come upwards like that. They're more of a marker, a tracer, whereas white smoke is more of a holy shit, let's just hide everything. Uh, and that could be quite useful for either covering yourselves as a team or laying down some cover for a medic perhaps who is trying to uh, protect a teammate or perhaps trying to revive a teammate. It's a very effective system. The Grenadier is a very useful class. It could be used for both anti-vehicle capabilities but at the same time it can also double as uh, anti-personnel and also a targeting system as well. So the Grenadier is probably one of the uh, better classes uh, that you can use and uh, you know it's, it's just one of those things guys. It's a class that pretty much in the grand scheme of things is the most I'd say versatile so it's definitely one that you're gonna to want to use but that's about it marking destroying and killing that's what the grenadier is all about guys uh, it will take some practice to get used to using the grenade launcher I recommend you guys uh, use the Jensen's range use some rounds um, through the reloading system there's some ammo crates around on this empty range and just getting used to trying to take out targets with a grenade launcher and you'll eventually get there but that's about it for this class guys it's been me the tactical Brit there's more guys in the description below and as always thank you for watching